Welcome to our film about responsibilities of a TA at South East Surrey Pupil Referral Unit. We have a team of five at South East Surrey Pru, two HLTAs and three TAs. Their name is Pam, Fiona, Jackie, Tracy and Jeannie. And not only do we have individual responsibilities, but we have responsibilities as a team. Would you describe the way TAs are part of the reward systems at the Pru fee? TAs are responsible for compiling and collating the point sheets that each student has. Students are marked on their work, attendance, behaviour and also their personal target. This record keeping is vital as TAs report back to the students and their parents and forms an important part of how we liaise with their schools. Students that have earned an agreed percentage of their points are invited to participate in a reward trip that is individually tailored by TAs to appeal to their interests. Jackie, I'm aware that there's a lot of off-site activities that happen at the Peru. What are some of your responsibilities relating to that? Once a week, we take the students to a local stables to help with riding for the disabled. The students give encouragement and support to the children, and our TAs are responsible for all contact with the staff at the stables. Half-termly, we visit the local infant school at lunch times and organise team games for our students to deliver to the children. Each week we take an active part in sports sessions. This can be driving the minibus to and from the venue um, to participating in all sports to encourage the less able students. As TAs, how have your roles and responsibilities changed? In fact, you can choose four. Since starting at the Peru in 2000, I've gone from supporting a key stage three group to becoming lead HLTA with a team of four. I'm now responsible for planning and delivering the sports sessions and the team building sessions. Would you like to choose four? Since joining the Peru in 2006, I have been encouraged and supported to achieve an HLTA. As a direct result of this, I now take full responsibility for the planning and delivery of cooking lessons for all our students. When I joined the team at the Peru eight years ago, I was responsible for supporting a key stage four medical and psychiatric group. I now support key stage three early intervention group and I'm involved in a large amount of outreach work with our students in their schools. I am the link person for riding for the disabled. Started in April 2008 supporting permanently excluded students. Now we support groups within the early intervention program. I'm responsible for running a beauty club. This involves planning, purchasing and also the budget. I am now moving towards obtaining my HLTA. My background is in youth work. Being a teaching assistant at a PRU is much more structured, not only because of the school timetable, but because everyone follows a comprehensive behaviour management policy, all singing from the same song sheet. TAs are in the front line of behaviour and adapting to each situation as it arises is essential. Jackie, how do you say the TAs evaluate their effectiveness? We are always looking to monitor and improve our effectiveness. We have weekly TA meetings where we discuss good practice and evaluate the previous week, therefore enabling us to continue offering our school outstanding TA support. Right Tracy, what sort of role does a TA have regarding behaviour management at the PRU? We maintain an excellent duty of care and we are excellent role models for our students. We are always the first point of contact for our students, starting with Breakfast Club. We deliver our own planned sessions at this time. So far we have covered green issues and are now moving on to personal finance. We give group and individual support throughout the all-day curriculum. We participate during lunch and outdoor activities. We also deliver craft and beauty clubs. We may need to occasionally cover lessons in the absence of a teacher. Our two HLTAs, Pam and Fiona, deliver sports, team building and cookery lessons. Finally, we evaluate the day by participating in whole school staff meetings. Jenny, can you tell me about the TA involvement in the assessment and record keeping at the PRU, please? Yes, our PRU started operating an early intervention programme just last October. Lots of personal information is collected together about the students including individual education plans, what other agencies are involved and their behaviour in school. This information is condensed into a student profile that teachers use to assess the needs of each child. Tar targets are agreed and cards are made up to remind the students what they are trying to achieve. Accurate records of assessment of student progress are kept in maths and English as well as behaviour and self-esteem. 
Evidence is gathered of pupil behaviour whilst at the PRU throughout the day in lessons, break time and off-site visits. Both good and bad behaviour is recorded on an instant log. This information is compiled together as vital evidence for statutory assessment for statementing. Tracy, can you tell me about the outreach work completed by the TAs from the PRU? Yes, we go into their mainstream schools and we observe them within their, their lessons. We liaise with school staff and this is to ensure that they have a smooth transition when they come to us. We also carry out weekly visits to their mainstream schools once they're with us at the PRU and we do weekly reporting back to parents and the carers.